Hello everyone, Tripster here. Uh, in this video we'll be installing Need for Speed Porsche Unleashed on a Windows 10 system and we'll be installing all the decent patches. So go back in your library from a very long time ago and dig out that Need for Speed CD that you have. Here is mine. So the first thing you want to do is run the file. You can see auto run here. And you click on it and nothing happens. Well, I will show you what the issue is. If you go to Task Manager, there we go, so that's the Task Manager here. Uh, rather than Processes, you're going to go to Details. In here, you're going to search for Setup. Uh, if you don't click on the Auto Run, this setup won't be here. This is exclusively to whatever you're trying to install in the moment. And if you click on Analyze Weight Chain, you will see that there is something blocking this setup file. In this case, NV container is the NVIDIA Shadowplay, I believe. So that's what's blocking the setup.dxe. So we're going to close the NVIDIA container. And as soon as I closed it, the setup uh, utility started working properly. So let's go through the install. So this might take a while on your system. Give it a moment. So in this case, we want to do a custom install. And the thing will change is the destination. You can install it on your C drive. I have a drive specifically for games. And the one thing you want to do is change the path. I have seen people report that if uh, the path has spaces in it, it might not work. So I'm making it as short as possible. NFS Porsche Unleashed. So click that OK. and. Uh, Yes, you want to create a new folder for this installation. In here, you want to make sure everything is checked. You want to make sure we install everything. Okay. Here we are, so the main bulk of the game is installed. So EA update setup, it has to be installed even though we won't use it. I doubt the servers are even up. So we'll install that anyways, right? We have to. So uh, the default location is fine. This is done. And uh, okay, that's installed. And yes, we want a shortcut. I am running this on a 4080. Yes, I am running a 23 year old game on a 4080. Why not? So we will register never in this case. And the setup is complete. So uh, once the setup is done, we need to go to install few patches. Here we go. So this is the directory we installed the game in. The next thing we need to do, and I will have a link of this inside the description. I have an assembly of like hot fixes and stuff that I have combined into a single uh, zip file. Uh, we'll need to copy this over. Again, check the description for the link. And we need to copy it over into the directory of the game. So the one part we need to do here is uh, install Nglide. Nglide is a program used to emulate uh, like DirectX 7 stuff like that. So uh, basically it makes your uh, drivers compatible with older games. So we need to install this. And the current version is 
uh, 2.10 so search Google for and glide and uh, there might be a newer version available whenever you're installing this game so go ahead and install this the next thing you need to search your Windows uh, search bar for Nglide Configurator. And that's this utility. The video backend, you leave that to automatic. The screen resolution, you want to match whatever your screen is. I am using a 1440p monitor, so that's what that is. The aspect ratio, Need for Speed is uh, a game back when uh, four by three, I believe, screens were the common. So if we choose aspect correction, it will have bars on the side on a modern monitor. So if you choose the entire screen, it will stretch out the game to a 16 by nine format rather than the four by three. I like the bars since it doesn't stretch out the image. So I will choose that. Vertical synchronization, yes. You can leave that off if you want. I prefer it on. Uh, NFS, uh, the gamma correction, start with one and then adjust it. The 3DFX logo, before the game launches, you're basically going to get a logo of the Anglide software. Leave it on, and then if you the, get the game working properly, you know, you can shut that off so it saves a couple seconds of time apply and exit let's go back to here so here is the Windows 10 fix if you open this bat you don't need to do the open but SDB is a default Windows uh, utility and you're just uh, running the Porsche uh, SDB file so that's what this does right click on it and run as administrator and that's it that's all that does uh, so that's the windows 10 fix applied the next thing you need to do is go to drivers we need to enable the end glide into the registry so double click on this file here do you want to add it yes so this will add the end glide into the registry and here are the lines that are being added. There's no malicious stuff anywhere. So the next thing, and this I have already changed it, but just to double check, uh, make sure these do not have uh, semicolons in front. In this case, they don't, so that's done. And that's it. From there on, you need to right click on the Porsche uh, EXE and go to compatibility and you want to run this program with Windows uh, XP Service Pack 2 compatibility and also run it as an administrator. That's it. That's all you need to do. This is the minimum uh, requirement, like the minimal essential patches you need to apply to get the game running. So run as administrator. seems to be working so here's the 3dfx uh, <laughs> and this is the splash screen i will go over it in a second <laughs> Here we go. So we can hear each other again. Uh, lower the music, that's all. You don't need to do this, but I just did it for the video. In here, we choose uh, the screen size. What this will do is it will change the resolution of the UI inside the, when you're racing. That's, that's what this does. White screen, keep this off. If you turn this on, you're going to get huge bars on the bottom and the top. So that's what that is. 
uh, card detail. Currently, the higher is the maximum available card lighting. Again, highest, highest device available. World rendering quality very high. Viewing distance very high. If you go to the advanced, there is nothing really useful here. Okay, so let's start a parade and see if everything works. There we go. So we're inside the game. Everything works properly. Three, two, one, go! Obviously the sound is off just because I lowered it so much, but... You can see everything works good. Cool, so let's exit to Windows. Okay, so uh, I brought up the splash screen when you first log into the game, uh, the videos launch, and then you have that splash screen that the game is loading. And this is specifically to my system, but I, I have a uh, Corsair water cooler. Uh, the sensors that are used inside that water cooler connect to the USB. In the device manager, that shows up as the HID, HID, whatever that stands for. And that was closing my game. So it took me quite a while to find it, but if you have a Corsair water cooler, you might need to unplug the USB to get it working, so the fans should still work. Obviously, the CPU itself has its own sensors, so and like I said, the fans should still work. Just worth doing, so that's the patch. Let me pull up the other patch here. So here is another patch that I have found. This includes, uh, there is like car patches that were released by EA. There was also a 3.5 3 enhanced patch, I believe they called it. This includes all of that. And there were also patches edited by people that, you know, do very uh, decent stuff with optimizing the game and uh, Again, they were also added in this patch, so uh, let's install this thing. This is optional. If you would like to keep the game original, this is 100% optional for the extra stuff. The reason why I left this until the end is uh, there is a config file and of course, this was done by a small, like a regular person. This wasn't done by a huge company. Microsoft hasn't approved this file. So if you right click this, it will catch it as a virus. It's not a virus. I have checked it myself. It's been checked by other people. It's not a virus, but it's not an approved Microsoft file. So if you run it, you can see malicious file. If you don't want to take the risk, you don't need to install this patch, but this does add a decent amount of stuff. So in here, we need to run this with NGlide since we have that installed. Click on the check mark here. Screen resolution, set it up to your device, minus 1440p. Preserve original, that's the original 3x4, 4x3 format or fit to screen, which is the 16 by nine. I want to preserve the original. Refresh rate, set it up to your monitor. Uh, vert uh, vertical synchronization. I don't need, you know, the game to run at 4,000 4, FPS just because, you know, it's an old game. So uh, the 3DFX logo, that's the splash screen, that's the logo that loads up in the beginning. You can shut that off since we know the game works. Click OK. Over here, two more options. Uh, we want to uncheck windowed mode. You can turn it on, but the game is going to be very tiny. 
the fog check filtering check system proc uh, affinity uncheck that cpu frequency zero error reporting uncheck no movies if you want to eliminate the movies uh, like during the loading screen and all that you can check that i like them so i will leave them on save and exit now after you have done all this you need to run the game using this icon not the original one so nfs5.dxe right click on that and go to properties compatibility for windows xp sp2 and run it as an administrator so if you run the game again of course windows doesn't like it run anyways The game is loading. And this is the splash screen I was referring to where my system was crashing. So here is this combined pack added a new driver where a whole bunch of times are locked. Just the music again. There we go. And if you go to graphics, you can see now, of course, everything's reset, but that's fine. Under texture detail, there is now very high. Under car detail, there is also very high. Car lighting, high. And then very high and then very high. And then there's no changes here. So the patch does add uh, better visuals, the patch does add a decent amount of stuff. He adds extra cars as well, so it's worth installing. If you look here, there is a whole bunch of cars that are now available because of that new uh, profile that's there. There we go, choose this thing and start it up. You can also see the this kind of uh, loading screen, the graphics are a little better as well. So the patch does add three graphics. Three, two, one, go! And there you go. So you can see that there are slight improvements, but for an older game, any improvement in, gra in graphics is worth it. So. That's it. Uh, game works. Uh, Windows 10. Hopefully this guide was helpful. If you need more help, let me know in the comments. As I said, again, I will have uh, the links to the patches that I have installed inside the description. So check there. Uh, if you like this video, if it was helpful, let me know in the comments. Hit that thumbs up button, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.